Hello and welcome to Vokta Gaming's Carnage Specials, episode number 9. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and I am bringing you a game. This is just one game in a long series. I'm not going to upload the entire series, but this game is definitely worth having on the channel. I'm going to go into more detail about it in the minute, in a moment rather, but first, allow me to introduce our players for Team Carnage. He is our Red Terran. His name is Lemony Tang! And opposing him in the blue, he is our other Terran player in this TVT. He was representing Manchester Barcraft, my favourite Barcraft, my home Barcraft. Which I am now the official voice of. His name is Robbie G. So, Lemony Tank versus Robbie G. This is, in fact, game two from the finals of the SC Forum Open, which Lemony Tank did go on to win. It was pretty epic. It was a best of five series. Robbie G took the first game. It was incredibly close. It was a 40-minute Terran vs. Terran on Daybreak involving a base trade at 20 minutes that then transitioned back into macro play. It was unbelievable. I just, I've just i never seen anything like it. And I did get to cast it live. The SC Forum Open is, of course, a tournament run by me and a guy called Joe Bladder Divine. Me and Bladder run that. We put our money into it and our time into it. And it went off fairly successfully for a first tournament. We will be doing a second in July. But I really... This game blew me away so much, even more so than Game 1, that I had to throw it up on this channel. Uh, you guys just need to see it. So, we see Lemony Tang going for the one barracks with a tech lab on it. Perhaps for Marauders, perhaps for something else. Because there is double gas going up. So, as we saw in Lemony Tang vs. Jimmy, Lemony Tang really is going to want to go mech. Because mech is so strong, TVT. If you can pull it off, you just need to be doing it all the time. So this is a nicely timed scout from here. He's going to check up here into one of the two bases Robbie G could possibly be in. And goes far enough to see that Robbie G is not here. And so we'll come down here. Robbie G, meanwhile, is getting up a factory after his barracks. So he too, it looks like, wants to do perhaps a banshee opening. If he adds a second gas, it will definitely be a banshee opening. But we have the first of Lemony Tang's Reapers finishing up now. Reaper openings used to be so strong in TVT, but they've fallen off recently. However, this is uh, this is an okay map for doing them. Uh, now, you don't have a lot of surface area up at the back of the base for dropping Reapers into the main. But what you do have is two mineral lines that are very, very close to one another. So your Reaper can hop back and forth between them. And so long as your opponent only has Marines and Marauders out, there's not a lot he can do to stop you. Now, unfortunately for Lemony Tang, Robbie G has not done an expand build. If he did, he'd have been able to do so much damage at this point. Robbie G is, in fact, going for the Starport build. Which, of course, will be a Banshee opening. We have Nitro Packs also on the way for the Reapers. So it looks like Lemony Tang definitely wants to invest into Reapers more than just as an opening, more than just as a scout. But, in fact, as a main damage dealer and harass unit throughout this game. So, at 5.15, this Reaper is going to hit the base. Now, unfortunately, like I said, there is no expand there. But he is going to be able to jump up onto the main and start killing SCVs. He already has a Marine kill. And now he's up to two uh, SCV kills as well. Is he going to get a fourth? One more shot. Yep. Gets a fourth and gets out of there safely. I really like the way he came in, by the way. His pathing was perfect. If you come in just to the side of this, in this tiny little gap here, the supply depots up here do not quite have vision of it. As you can see, their vision stops as I hit the forward button because I'm an idiot. But it's cool. Anyway. Skipping forward to the next exciting point in the game, we see Lemony Tang. He spotted the Banshee. Well, he spotted the Starfoot with the Tech Lab, so he, he pretty much knows it's Banshee. He's getting Marine kills, and there's no Marines left. He's dropping in the base with three Reapers and two Hellions. He's doing a ton of damage. More Marines going down. The Siege Tank is finally out, so this Harass will not kill Robbie G, but it will definitely, definitely be doing the damage. So many SCVs dying at this point. SCVs still dying. 
the second Helling dies, but there are still three Reapers alive and only one siege tank to stop them. Again, a Marine goes down. These Reapers getting so many kills. Finally, the first of the Reapers goes down, but there are two left still doing the damage. It looks like they are finally, finally going to be chased off and killed. Behind this, though, we do have Lemony Tank throwing up his expansion. Robbie G finishes his, so we will be slightly ahead in terms of expansions. But unfortunately, with 22 workers killed to just six, Lemony Tank is going to be miles ahead economy-wise, as we see here with 26 SCVs to 11. So Lemony Tank in a commanding lead, and he does the correct thing. He had the Viking up to kill that Banshee when it came into his base, which it did. He is adding two more factories. He wants to go super mech. The tech lab on the starport will allow him to get a banshee. And he is going to use that medevac to drop again. This time with a hellion, a marine and a reaper. And this time Robbie G has an expansion up. He's trying to make SCVs and get his siege tech out. But unfortunately for him, this drop is going to come in. It's going to do some more damage to the marines. The marines are up here looking for reapers. They are not back here spotting for drops. And now the drop comes in. So another SCV dies, the Reaper and Hellion doing so much damage, the Marine unfortunately targeting the refinery, the Marine will die, the Hellion will die, but the Reaper escapes to the natural to do yet more damage, getting more SCV kills, forcing the mules away to the siege tanks, so the mules not mining, forcing Robbie G to lose even more economy. And back in the main base of Robbie G, uh, back in the main base of Lemony Tang, rather, we can see Cloak on the way. We can see he is going to get some banshees out. He has the two Vikings up, so he has uh, a nice little Viking advantage at this point because he knows uh, Robbie G, in fact, is not even using the star pot. He just doesn't have the money because it is 36 SCVs to 16. Lemony Tang absolutely storming this game, throwing up a third command center now. Way before Robbie G can even think about it. Robbie G struggling just to stay in this game, to stay relevant at this point in time. We have a Banshee now on the way for Lemony Tang. Cloak is going to be done. And he has added a fourth factory. Blue Flame is done for the Hellions. So that is going to do some sick damage in the future in any kind of marine engagement. A reactor going down on this factory, so going to get double Hellions out as well. Lemony Tang is just setting up in the perfect position. We have four Marines out on the map for Robbie G. Going to take these Onaga Watchtowers, try and just see what Lemony Tang is doing. Try and catch him coming towards him. Uh, unfortunately for him, Lemony Tang is in fact expanding again. And Robbie G just doesn't have the forces to attack. There's no way he can punish this kind of expansion. Lemony Tang is saturated pretty much on two bases. As all the factories in the world using this barracks now just gonna fly it about in fact by the way this is on the MLG version of Metropolis so as you can see we don't have the islands oh but we have a banshee with cloak heading down towards Robbie G's base we have two armories on the way for Lemony Tang as well his orbital command is about to finish, at which point he will float it to the third. We have a third trying to go down for Robbie G, but Lemony Tang is attacking at the perfect time. The Marines are not up in the main base, they're down at the natural. So he's going to get even more SCV kills, this Banshee getting so many kills already. And then it cloaked, and oh my word, no scans left for Robbie G. So this Banshee can just continue to kill SCVs for as long as it wants. 47 seconds of cloak left and now in fact is even escaping the marines in the main base coming down to the natural gets up to 10 kills so far it is a rank sergeant 11 kills now is he going to get a 12th gets a 12th finally robbie g is able to scan and he will take down that banshee but he got 12 kills and forced to scan which is one less mule which means robbie g is even further behind and we're just going to take a look it is 51 scvs to 24 at 13 minutes nearly 14 into the game he is over double the scv count and he stops the third from going up lemony tang is just playing a picture perfect tvt at this point in time the third is going to land for him he has everything he needs in his main base he is able to mech up so so hard he has so many advantages and now this branching for lemony tang is gonna cloak 
forces another scan. It does die, but it doesn't matter because Lemony Tang is so far ahead at this point. Just using those Banshees to force scans means Robbie G is not going to be able to get back into this game. He has no money whatsoever. He's just unable to get any because he doesn't have the SCVs and he doesn't have the mules at this point. Lemony Tang, meanwhile, is fully set up on three bases. He's getting his upgrades 1-1. One, one, for his vehicles, so that's uh, the siege tanks and Hellions going to get 1-1. One, one. He's adding another starport, another two factories here. Incredible. Lemony Tang is just storming this game. There is absolutely, we have a small engagement in the middle of the map. The Hellions with Blue Flame melting those Marines. And Lemony Tang can honestly just sit back and wait. He's going to get so far ahead at this point. He just needs to keep doing these little harasses, just forcing Robbie G back. Making him unable to just completely go economy-wise. Forcing him to continue making units instead of SCVs and keeping ahead. Lemony Tang, meanwhile, is just going to push out with his Hellion Siege Tank, Viking and Banshee Force. Adding a second Banshee to that mix. Getting high sec auto-tracking as well. Throwing down a fourth as he attacks. So even if this attack doesn't kill his opponent, Robbie G is in no way going to be able to punish Lemony Tang taking a fourth. So Lemony Tang will stay one base ahead throughout this game. Here he goes, cloaking his Banshee. He's going to use him to scout, maybe even pick off a couple of Marines. There goes the first Marine. Now they stim forward. A scan goes down. He's going to lose his Banshees. But he stims his units into siege tank range and they are going to completely decimate those units. The Hellions as well with blue flame. So now he's just going to push down and kill off this third base. The SCVs and mules are retreating but they're lining up. Even more SCV kills for Lemony Tank. Oh my word. I'm going to bring up. We're just going to see 47 workers killed in the course of this game. Lemony Tank. His siege tanks taking out the siege tanks of Robbie G. Oh my god. Nearly triple. The supply of Robbie G at this point. Lemony Tang absolutely perfect throughout this game. Getting even more SCV kills now. Oh my word. And now he has him contained on two base. Two base versus four base. Lemony Tang adding more and more Hellions. More and more Siege Tanks. And look at this. Anytime Robbie G even tries to move. He's just going to get blown apart. Lemony Tang now attacking from two fronts. Robbie G with the GG at this point. Lemony Tang leveled the series 1 0 and went on to take it 3 1 uh, with another great game on Antigua Shipyard. And then, unfortunately, Robbie G misunderstanding the, on Entombed Valley that cross positions were not enabled on MLG's Entombed Valley. It's big enough that they actually allow vertical positions as well. And he tried to do a th proxy 3 racks into a base that had no Lemony Tang. But what a game that was from Lemony Tang. There is just no better way. I mean, he picked Metropolis because he'd lost uh, game number one, so he was able to pick this map, and it was the perfect build. I mean, I'm just going to bring it up again before we finish this. 61 workers killed in a total of 18 minutes in the game. 72 SCVs to 30. There is, there is no other domination like that in esports. That is simply put, the best TVT I have ever watched in my entire life. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back in the future with yet more Carnage specials right here on youtube.com forward slash Carnage Esports.